Dear Madeline, it's been 234 days since you said yes to being my girl, and today that yes becomes forever. Dear Justin, you are the man I have prayed for and dreamed about. I am so thankful that God has brought us together. Even before the day I said I love you, I had already grown to love your beautiful smile, your joyful laughter, and your godly character. You are a man of integrity and more importantly a man of God. One day, a couple summers ago, we went to get some food. That was the first time I had met Justin. And I remember sitting with my sister at the same table as him, and I could tell something was different about him. And I said to her, so hey, what do you think about this Justin guy? And she said she wasn't too sure, and I said, really? <laughs> She's like, you think he likes me? And I just gave her the look like, yeah. Cheers to the bride. The first conversation I had with Justin about Madeline was over the phone one morning. And he was just a little worried that it was too early to ask her out on a date. After listening to him a while longer and hearing his tone of voice, I said, Justin, Madeline is waiting for you to ask her out. So just do it. <laughs> Madeline, you look beautiful and amazing. God placed you in our family on March 24th, 1998, and we are so glad he gave us the honor of raising you. You light up a room with your smile and genuine personality, and you are very kind and have empathy towards others. Very nice. <laughs> Madeline, um, you have made it easy being your parents, and we thank you for being the daughter that you are. Jesus, be with Justin and I on our wedding today and let your light shine through us and into our marriage and as we step into this covenant of marriage. Dear God, we thank you for today. We thank you that you have led our lives together and today we may become one. Thank you for the relationship we share and for the love we have for each other. I pray that today would be a testimony of your work in our lives and that this truth be shared today in the ceremony of our lives being united in marriage. I truly believe this is a match made in heaven. Madeline, both you and Justin are off on the right foot because you put Jesus first in your life. We are gathered here today in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Madeline Joy Smith and Justin Allen Church. Right here. On this ground where we are standing Holding dreams with open hands against the sky So clear It's better than we planned it This rising sun was meant for you and I The two of you are entering into a marriage covenant Your two lives becoming one life together it is a commitment made today before God and these witnesses. Justin, do you take Madeline to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love, honor, and cherish her? I do. Madeline, do you take Justin to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you forsake all others for him alone as long as you both shall live? I do. God answered my prayer when he walked into my life. I am so excited that today I get to marry my best friend and start our life together. I am so blessed you will be so soon to be my husband and I am so excited to walk down the aisle and marry you. Those whom God has joined together, 
Let no one ever separate. Justin, you may kiss your bride. It is my joy to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Justin and Madeline Church. Justin, your character is evident for everyone to see. From the kind and caring way that you talk to the authentic interests you have in people's lives, as you begin your marriage journey, continue to live out this character. Your marriage will be evidence of Christ in you. don't know what I would do without you. I love how you laugh at your own jokes and most of the time they're not even that funny but I can't help but laugh because you make yourself laugh. So welcome to the family. We're a little bit like fudge. Mostly sweet with a few nuts thrown in. And to end it off, who will love the other one forever and ever, never, never, and ever?